Hey guys, I'm LT from Blind Horse Knives, and today I'm here with Brad Stallsmith from Peter's Heat Treat. Hey Brad. How you doing? Good to see you, brother. Always good to have you around. Brad, we always hear the term Rockwell, a, a knife set, 59 Rockwell or 60 Rockwell. What does that mean to the end user when they hear a, a knife is it like a 59 Rockwell? Okay, the, um, the Rockwell machine was invented back uh, around World War II as a way to non-destructively get a hardness value that could be used worldwide without actually doing a destructive test such as pull, which involves pulling a piece of steel apart until it breaks. Um, they, they came up with the Rockwell scale. It basically is a diamond penetrator that is pushed with weight into the surface of the steel and then that distance that it's pushed in is measured. Um, obviously the further it goes the softer the steel is going to be and the, the more shallow that the, that indentation is the harder it's going to be. So they, they came up with a, a graduated scale that corresponds, called the Rockwell scale, that corresponds to um, a, a, a given tensile and yield strength. All right, mm -hmm. um, it, it is a graduated scale and what I mean by that is the difference between Rockwell 30 and Rockwell 31 um, is I'm just off the top of my head let's just say um, 3,000 uh, PSI uh, in difference from uh, tensile strength. The difference between 59 Rockwell C and 60 Rockwell C is probably seven or 8,000 tensile strength. So the, the scale is measured from 20 to 80 but it is graduated. As you get harder in, uh, on the Rockwell C scale, and this is the scale I'm talking about, the Rockwell C scale, as you get harder in that, the difference between each Rockwell point is greater as far as the value that's assigned to it for tensile and yield. Okay, so in a nutshell, what that means is the difference between 30 and 31 Rockwell C isn't that much, but there's a, it's, it's double the difference from 59 to 60. So that's why in the knife world, when you're hardening a knife up to roughly 60 Rockwell, and we'll just call that the median, some knives are softer, some knives are harder, you can't actually get to where you can feel the difference between one Rockwell point at the hardest um, if, you, if you're using your knife. Um, there are many different scales for many different materials. Um, not just a diamond penetrator, but they have um, precision ground 16 inch balls that are used on the soft stuff like aluminum and brass. Um, there are even different scales that you can use that are associated with the C scale. Um, the C scale is actually a, a 150 kilogram load pushed down onto that diamond to penetrate the steel. Um, that works best on stuff that's at least um, you know a 32nd uh, to a 16th thick. So there are different scales that you can use, such as A scale or even 15N scale, which basically are just less weight that's put on that uh, diamond and pushed on there. So you can check stuff that's very thin and hard or uh, just get, leave less of a mark on the surface of the steel. Quite interesting. That's a good in-depth on the Rockwell scale. Nice.